Hi and welcome to Scale Models by Kresho. My name is Kresho Mircher and today we are going to look inside this box of these Trumpeteers ME262 in 1 30 second scale. As you can see this is a pretty big box and pretty hefty box. We have item number 02260 as you can see, this, this box is pretty big, so it's kind of hard to, to move it around. We have some, some pictures of the model. A picture of the side, some profiles on this side of the box. So, let's open the box. Pretty packed, as you can see. We have our instructions, painting schemes, lots of sprues, and little magic box of goodies. So let's start the review by looking at the instruction sheet, as usual. So, it's a booklet, we have our first page, we have our parts call out, and straight into the, to the building, first we are assembling we have some instructions for assembling the seats, some cockpit interior, some sides, building it all together, some wheels, wheel treads, some nose, nose compartment, wheel base, cannons, and then we have assembly of the engines, engine cells, some fuel tanks, wing flaps, ailerons, and straight into the assembly of the wings and fuel tanks. We have two separate fuel tanks, assembling of the sub-assemblies, another fuel tank, interiors of the fuselage, pretty nice instructions, pretty clear instructions. So joining the two halves together with all the interiors. Of course the nose section and the coverings. You have the lots of options to open various panels and show the insides of the aircraft if you want. Also we have these R4M rockets. We have some JTOs or RTOs better. Yeah. And also assembly of the horizontal stabilizers. Final assembly. Of the main parts and the canopy. So that's it for the instructions. We also get some painting, painting instructions in these beautiful colored paint schemes with all the decals placement and all, of course the decals 
which I which are pretty nice actually I I'm not fan of this glossy surface they are a bit thick but I think they will not be problematic not as thick as I, I saw on the other planes so a little more light as you can see they are perfectly readable all the stencils you get swastikas broken up in twos so let's go into the parts so the first row we are going to look are the wings and various wing surfaces better to say various controls surfaces the quality is pretty good and the molding is excellent we have riveting detail all over the all over the place it is pretty pretty nice and in scale actually they are really fine, even finer on the on some of the 172nd scale models I saw. Very nice detail. Okay. Let's check out the other sprues. Oh. So we have the fuselage halves. Pretty nice detail all the way, as you can see. And it's a pretty nice size airplane, especially in this scale. You're going to get a pretty decent plane for your display case. Some, some bulkheads, some interior parts, interiors of the fuselage. Landing gear, struts. Various pieces. All the details are consistent. So we have horizontal stabilizers. Some wheels. Some front wheel. And you also get this is the this is the A1A model, and she has four of the MK108 cannons. But we also get this one, which is not attached to any sprue, so we can build some other types, some later types. It's a nice touch. Yep. So let's go further. fuel tanks, interior, and also 
the other fuel tanks some various pieces small we have our rockets all individual parts so this is going to be interesting to build next we have some engine cells and you get it two identical screws one clear one with regular grey plastic so the detail is actually pretty good very consistent through the old all sprues some engine parts some interior parts okay and then we have the engine I think these are two identical sprues They should be because we have two engines. Yes, they are identical. So the engine is broken down, as you can see, in a million pieces. But they are pretty nice, pretty nice. And lots of details. I think these are the cannons. Yeah, these are the cannons. And they are big in this scale, pretty big. And the onion for the jet exhaust. Yeah. So we have one more screw, which are the I think interior parts various bulkheads instrument panel or better to say back of the instrument panel with various instruments sticking out a little bit of flash here but nothing major front section for the nose wheel and the seat which has a nice texture Okay, we have some rudder pedals here, pretty decent detail, come on, here we go, okay, and the last thing we have is the box of goodies. So, what do we have here? Clear parts, tires, oh, rubber tires, some photo etch, some instrument panel, and some metal wheels, me wheel struts, yeah. landing gear, landing gears, white metal, nice. Auto wedge parts. Come on, focus. 
So here you can see we have seat belts. Some various other pieces, but it's pretty nice. And we have rubber wheels. A lot of people don't like rubber wheels, but what do you want? It's a wheel made of rubber. These are very nice. You actually almost cannot see the seam line here. So that's it. And we have canopy. So let's look. What does it look like? So we have two sprues of clear parts. We have the main canopy, front, very nice, very thin and very transparent. As well as the instrument panel, some various probably for the wing lights and the back side of the can canopy so that's it that is our ME262 from Trumpeteer in 1 30 second scale if you are interested in this kit please check out the links in the description for high resolution images on my modeling page Please like, comment and subscribe. See you soon and happy modeling!